you're gonna check it out check it out check it out check whoa, it out whoa 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 what the, what's going on here I, I got my martin luther superhero action figure dun, 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 dun. you gotta you gotta listen that was pretty cool wasn't it come on pastor jeff really superhero it's a bobblehead oh come on use your imagination he's a superhero and he's got his special power his hammer the reformer <laughs> he goes around he goes around whacking bad guys and villains and he he's got no. his secret lair no. the mighty fort rest no no c c <laughs> the mighty fort that rest that's what i call a knee slap for pastor jeff that's a good one are you kidding me no 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 martin luther did nothing like that he Come wasn't on. a superhero he had a hammer now i can also i can see how some may consider him a superhero because he did wonderful things for the church. He was a very good man, and he just wanted to fix the church. Oh, <laughs> fix it with his hammer? Uh, no. No, no. See, What was guys, wrong with the church? Well, guys, Martin Luther, Martin Luther lived a long time ago, about almost 500 years ago. 500 years ago. That's a long time. And... Martin Luther just liked to read the Bible and learn more about God and Jesus Christ. And as he was reading the Bible, he realized that the church was maybe doing a few things that were not necessarily the way it would be in the Bible. That's not what he read out of the Bible. So what, he, what did he do? He, he wrote a list of things that he didn't think was right with the church. Was it a long list? Oh, yes, Pastor Jeff. It was a long <laughs> list. How many? Awesome. 95. 95. I kind of got an example here. Oh, list. so here's, here's a picture of Martin Luther. Superhero. Yeah, he, he doesn't really look like a superhero, I don't think. He was just a common man. But here is a so is list. Clark Kent. Clark Kent. <laughs> nice, real nice. So here is a list of those 95 <laughs> items. Now, it's typed out. I typed it. No, I didn't type it myself. It's typed out. <laughs> Think about it. Back 500 years ago, Martin Luther wrote this by hand. Look at them all. It's, it's taller than you, right? Stand up Get up. There. Stand up there. Hold almost, that up. See? Almost. Almost as, almost as long as you are tall. But had many important things. Now, what do you think he did with that list? I know. He did what? What? He put on, and he used he, his hammer, didn't he? He used his <laughs> hammer, probably, Pastor Jeff. There yeah. you go. See and he nailed this list on the door of the church over in an area now called Germany. Now, all he really wanted to do was get some conversation going between the people. He didn't really want to stir up too much, but he put it up there, and some people read it. <laughs> And, and they were really impressed with it. So they took it down and made copies of it. Took and, it down? Yeah, they took it down. That was more important actually taking it down than when they put it up. Ah, so other people could read it. That's right. And it went all throughout the land. Other people read it. And it's important because as they read it, they began to see that Martin may have some truth in it. And so Martin Luther helped lead the Reformation. Oh, so it's not his hammer that's called the Reformer. Luther's called the Reformer. Woo, and you're a, oh, well, you're a pastor. <laughs> Very, but, praise God, Pastor about, Jeff is getting it. But what about all those villains? I mean, we just sang about all those devils in the land. Didn't he go around <laughs> whacking the devils with his hammer? He, uh, while no. he was staying in his, his lair, the mighty you know, fortress. The <laughs> mighty fortress. Once again, another knee slapper. Pastor Jeff, you have a great imagination, but the song really isn't about fighting off villains. Even though the song talks about devils and demons, but the words in that song were a little bit like superhero words. But the true superhero in the song is Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. And A Mighty Fortress, of course, is a song that Martin Luther wrote so long ago but it's really about the power 
of the superhero in our lives, Jesus. So his special power then is pointing to Jesus. That's right. As long as you remember that if he is a superhero, Pastor we, Jeff. We could have that we, power too, couldn't we? We, could we remember that, that his power was all provided to him through Jesus, uh, just like the power that we have. Can we, it's through Jesus. Can we pray now? Let's pray. <laughs> Jesus, we thank you that you love us and that you are our strength and our shield. Help us point to you, just like Martin Luther did. In your precious name we pray. Amen. So once you guys all get up here in congregation, I need, I need the reformer back. <laughs> Help us out here. Children of God, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Oh,